Jordan, your first fight and you have won. How are you feeling? How are you both feeling about this? Uh, I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm so happy. Like, honestly, like I had faith in him and like I knew he was going to win regardless. Like I, I just knew it. I had that feeling in me that he was going to win. But I don't know, like watching you in that ring was stressful. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It was stressful. Well, I'm sorry to say I probably put it put you through it a few more times because uh, nah, I loved it. And uh, yeah. I feel on top of the world. Like the fact that I make her happy makes me the happiest. Oh. Um, yeah, like, and I didn't break my nose, so Eric is happy. That was the one thing I said. I was like, you, you better not it, break your nose, I swear to God. Yeah, yeah. And is this going to be like a career for you now? Like, is boxing a thing you want to pursue? Yeah, look, I'm not going to say I'm going to take it to the same heights as like Jake Paul is taking this stuff because I think he's done amazing things, but he's kind of like showing the pathway of that people that start late in boxing, they can take it quite far. I just want to try and take it as far as I can. Uh, yeah. And we'll see how far that is. But I definitely want to keep going. My training camp was messed up, so if I have a good training camp, I'll perform a lot better than that. Obviously, everyone knows I want to fight Luke. If he's brave enough to fight me, I'll put him to sleep and I'll hurt him because Nathan didn't really have anything... I didn't really have any like vicious intent towards Nathan. Whereas with Luke, I want to hurt him. I want to punish him for everything he's done and everything he's said. So yeah, that's the fight I want next. And when I put him to sleep, I want to keep fighting and see how far so I can take it. So you're willing to fight him again? Did he pull out or was he removed from the fight? Yeah, yeah. well, he was removed from the fight. So he wanted to fight me still. It was a bit rough though. Well, he, he, never want, yeah, he never wanted to fight me as much mm -hmm. as I wanted to fight him. And he wasn't willing to put in the hard work. He got pulled because he wasn't training. And oh. if he wasn't training, I just feel like he never had any belief that he was going to fight me. Eric never ever thought he was going to turn up. I, 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 I said so from the beginning, from day one of like we're having a boxing match, I went, this man's not going to fight you. Mm. And then when the co after the contract was signed, I went, I don't believe it. <laughs> Even after the contract was signed, I went, Even don't after he signed it. a contract for £12,000. Honestly, I was like, he's not, I, I said, he's not turning if, up. If Luke How did you know Eric? I look. I've got a sixth sense, okay? Oh, this is why this man can't fuck me about because I know for a fact what's going on. Like, I have a sixth sense. So as soon as Luke said, that, oh yeah, we're having a box match, I went, no, you're not. No, no you're exactly. not. I just knew. You know when you have a feeling about something? I had that gut intuition and I was like, my intuition never lies. So I knew that he was not going to turn up wow. for this fight. Did you know Jordan? Well, no, I no, thought he was like, yeah, I, I thought he was scared. Yeah. I, I thought he was scared to fight me. But when yeah. I saw he was going to get paid twelve thousand pounds and twenty five percent pay per view, so probably like thirty grand in total. Mm -hmm. If he's willing to throw that away to not fight me, then he's clearly too scared to fight me. So I don't think he'll ever fight me. I hope he does, but I don't think he will. Wow. Okay. Well, it was an amazing fight. Well done on your first win. Just an update on married life for both of you. So since the show, how has things been? Give, give us an update. No, it's been really good, and obviously we're looking to move to Manchester. Okay. Um, we've been viewing houses, yeah, so we're we, wanting to move in together. And yeah, we're just waiting to find the like the perfect house. Like the Manchester market's crazy. Like yeah. we go view yeah. our dream house, and the next we day did it's find gone. the dream apartment, and then it, and then it was gone. And, and we were supposed to move it on Valentine's Day as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, so maybe maybe my birthday that's 25th of Feb, or maybe our anniversary, which is 19th of March. But I feel like whatever's whatever's for us won't go by <laughs> us. So like when we find yeah when we find that right place that that perfect place <coughs> for us we know that it will be right so yeah, mm. yeah we're excited mm. absolutely and Jordan if you had to fight any one of your castmates mm. apart from Luke who would you pick mm. if you had to call someone out yeah it would be George <laughs> that, oh, straight up yeah George, George, George runs his mouth he says stuff that's just a load of bull yeah. bullshit he likes to talk the talk but the boy can't walk the but walk but I think he's I think he's too fat I think he has to lose like <laughs> four stones uh, to fight me like he's probably like yeah 20 kg too heavy for me oh so God. he needs to lose his beer belly I um, asked George before and he said he, he would want to fight you as well yeah, yeah. Well, like hey, well, we've got we, we've got some beef there so I don't hey, know hey look 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 I'll, I'll fight I want to fight Luke first but if, if Luke if Luke's not brave enough mm -hmm. and George is he's probably not if he's willing to lose some pounds lose his beer belly mm -hmm. uh, half, half his waist size chub. then I'll fight him yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> and obviously the experts were a key point in the show. If you had to take away one thing you learnt from the experts, what would you say? I think for us it would be to listen to each other <laughs> and communicate. Yeah, you know I what? think it's even still now like yeah. we struggle with that we but really we, that. We, we do struggle with that but I think do you know what we're learning every day and good, yeah. like we're willing to learn mm -hmm. and grow with each other and I think that's the most important thing like we're not perfect we're not we're not a perfect couple like we have our moments we have our rows but again that's what makes us real so yeah. whatever the, the experts the experts always had faith in us yeah and I yeah. think so did I even, yeah even they, are, they always had faith in us but I think yeah even our downfalls like we it's because we're real and I'd, I'd like our downfalls are really bad because it's real emotion real feelings oh thank you and uh, yeah we're just real but it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's the way we feel about each other is why the way we are and it's yeah. just real and it's just like almost like too 
passionate to like deny we're so, very like, passionate we're, people yeah, so, like, if we're angry no, there's nothing yeah if we're angry stopping, we're yeah. angry and if we're in love we're in love like do you yeah, know what yeah, I mean yeah. <laughs> but it's the best kind like, honestly I wouldn't swap it like I know sometimes we really stress each other out but like, I, I wouldn't like swap it for the world and like it just makes these moments like really special you know and that's why you guys have lasted for so long great fight Jordan I love to see you both thank you have a great night guys one, one, one thing I'd like to say lastly is that yeah. one of the most special moments of the night thank you is uh, some like some people came in uh, you know some uh, lovely woman in a wheelchair uh, and and her daughter yeah. made these posters Team Jordan created all this the photos of us like, honestly like endless photos like saying so honestly there's so many like nice things uh, the medic in my dressing room just as I'm about to like glove up and, and get going yeah. the medic knocked on my door and went your family are here with like posters for you I was like I've seen my family they've not got posters they're not that uh, my family are loving but yeah. I was like they wouldn't turn up with posters but no it was these two lovely people from uh, Reading uh, that was the proudest moment of, of the night is uh, Megan and Andrea thank yeah, you Megan so much yeah Megan and Andrea much. from Reading really appreciate it I'm about to drop them all but that's, you know, that's another win tonight they're, yeah they're team joined but honestly proudest moment of the night is this so oh, honestly so everyone's support really appreciate it it's noticed and it, it gives gives me the yeah. strength to do this Yeah, we're always going to support you guys thank you guys so thank much for you. talking Have